So according to S3 partners, short sellers are looking to exit the market. And how you can exit the market? Well, you can make money or you can lose money. Let's go over the details and see what S3 partners is expecting to see. First of all, starting from the most important part, which essentially saying that short sellers made a lot of money and now they're looking to exit the market. Short sellers can drive up buying pressure in stocks if they got squeezed out of their short positions. Like we mentioned, they can lose money or they can make money. This is the only way they can exit the market. So, the short sellers borrow the stock to initiate their bearish bet. To close out the losing short bet, short sellers are forced to buy back the stock. Remember, making money or losing money is just represents a very small short period of time. Here you're profitable. The price of the stock is changing and now you're losing money, right? This is why S3 partners calculate that a lot of short sellers are sensing that the market bottom is near and they're satisfied seeing that their overall short exposure shrink as the market value of their existing short positions decline ahead. This is what I said. At a very certain time frame in which the stocks decline very, very fast, they might be profiting over here but if they wait if they don't you know take profits the market will rebound and the profits will shrink so if they were up let's say 100 million dollars overall and if they continue waiting right the market will rebound might be a fake rally might be a real reversal right this hundred million dollars profits unrealized gains could turn out to be like 30 million simply because the market inverted this is what they, they, they're focusing over here. You know, the existing short position declined ahead of what might be possible for the market rally. Also, S3 Partners is not sure how we're going to see a real rally or just a false breakouts on the way up. But they're sure that the short sellers made a lot of money. So there, some of them are actually willing to give a shot, willing to wait longer. Uh, look at this. Whether the next stock market rally is simply another bear market rally, right? Or if it is a real deal remains to be seen. For short sellers will play a role in outcome no matter what. Essentially people who are buying and hoping that this is the bottom, they're expecting, you know, the rally to continue slowly but surely in the next couple of weeks or months, you know, to see the reversal stabilization and, you know, the market slowly but surely, you know, invert. Uh, the short sellers are betting on completely opposite. This is just a one single day, like yesterday AMC 15% up. And then they're saying, you know, next couple of days, the stocks will be down again. So we're not going to, you know, uh, cover our short positions. We're going to keep our short positions open and we're going to bet the next couple of days, the market will decline more than the gains that we saw today. Remember when the Moscow Stock Exchange, when the war begins, actually closed leaving all the short sellers around the world who short each and every Russian big corporation, they were sitting on over $700 million unrealized gains. They short the market, all the Russian stocks declined. They were sitting on $700 million profit, unrealized gains, right? But they cannot, they cannot take profit simply because, remember, the stock market, the stock exchange in Russia, in Moscow, was closed. So they, barely they were stocked. And when this period, you know, they start buying gold, Russia start, start buying gold, you know, start trying to make their own currency much more valuable and, you know, asking for payments for the, for the gas or for the oil only in their uh, currency, this boost the economy, right? And when the trading resumed, some of these corporations, you know, the Russian stocks actually rebounced. So the shorts lost from this $700 million unrealized gains. This time frame when the market actually rebounds, they lost like $100, $200 million. Just think about it. Missing the right moment, uh, it's sometimes a game changer. Also, something very interesting from S3 Partners data is saying that, you know, the short interest declined currently by about $75 billion in June alone to $908 billion worth of short interest. Okay. With all of the decline being driven by falling stock prices. Again, stock prices are falling, but the short interest is falling as well, which is not a natural uh, action, right? When the stocks are falling, the short interest should go higher because more and more short sellers will be showing up, shorting the market, boosting the value of the short interest on the general market. But they didn't do that. 
some of them are scared like like we mentioned they don't know what what's going to happen we might see a rally in the general market that we saw in yesterday in mc right 15 percent it might get liquidated small and middle size shorts also the foreign short interest was partially offset by 20 billion dollars increase in the new short selling according to the note this is most likely the, the, the this is the biggest hedge funds who can actually afford these fake rallies 15 20 percent like we we mentioned some of the small shorts will get margin code if the market or their positions are up 15 percent right so essentially currently the waiting game is the most important game shorts are waiting to see where the market is headed right individual investors are waiting for the shorts to cover and the good news is that majority of the the big short sellers which essentially are the net short sellers they're the only one left shorting the market made a lot of money so they will be able to cover each and every following losing bet on the market which is a good news guys leave your thoughts in the comment section how big of a deal is the potential reversal is this the bottom of the market or the shorts will keep printing money for the following incoming declines subscribe to the channel guys like this video and come back for more